Welcome back to my channel. I haven't done like a sit down talking video in a minute. And um, I feel like right now is a perfect time to do that because I have the time. With school and everything, it's actually been like so hard because I haven't had any motivation. I am a, I'm in my last year of university and you know, Senioritis is kicking in. I have no motivation to do anything. I just want to rest and relax, but you know, I haven't been able to. And making videos has been the last thing. No, it's been on my mind. It's always been like, you need to make a video, you need to make a video, but it's also been the last thing on my priority list just because I'm not trying to stress myself out when I don't need to. But I'm here because I have the time and we are going to talk. What a time to be alive in 2020. It is only March and we are already talking about throw away 2020 because so many crazy things are happening. Me personally, what I've seen, like so many people have been passing away, just crazy things have happened. But of recent, we know what is going on right now the coronavirus COVID-19 and everyone and their mama are going crazy about it and I'm just like how about we look at this differently how I see this right now I see this as a as a moment that we should take advantage of yes it is crazy it is not something that if you're like in the uk or the united states we usually see outbreaks like this happening in other countries and yes we may say a prayer and everything and show a little concern but we just forget about it but now that this pandemic is an all around the world thing almost all around the world now that it's somewhere where we're like this is a developed country we should be able to withstand things like this everybody is like going crazy and it's actually kind of funny to me <laughs> because yes this is a serious it's a serious virus like yes take the precautions that you need to take you know to keep yourself safe and healthy when they say social distancing make sure say you open your eyes and you keep your distance from people and don't defy that. Now, I, at first, when it first, like when I first started hearing about it, I was like, okay, what is the seriousness of this? Like, I don't understand, but, and I still kind of don't understand it, but I still, I don't wanna say I don't care about it. I do care very much about it because there are people that may, there's people that are losing their lives. There are people that are, contracting this virus and they don't even know it and it's just crazy and yes they said it they say that it's more likely for people who are older and who already have immunodeficiencies that will be more likely to catch it but that's not what i'm here to talk about i'm here to talk about the way people are reacting to it what i'm seeing people are going into stores and buying out the stores people are selfish they're buying out all the toilet paper all the um clorox lysol hand sanitizer the food and i'm just like what what is the, why 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 like i really am trying to figure out like why what is the use of that you doing all of this is not going to like keep you from having the virus. Yes, it'll make you safe because you're get you're stocking up on your um, disinfectants and all of that. But it's just like, did you really need to go buy 10,000 of them? The world's not ending. And even if the world is ending, you're not going to take with you the Clorox wipes, the hand sanitizer, all the meat that y'all are buying up. That meat's going to go bad. Hello. 
That meat is not going to last. And it just goes to show that people really lack faith. I understand that not everybody is a believer in Christ or, you know, the Most High. But it just shows that people are very irrational in this world. And they're very greedy. And it shows how much we rely on the materialistic things than relying on the thought of this too shall pass and everything will be okay. Me personally, from 10, when it started, people around me are panicking, like, oh my gosh, this is so serious, you know, blah, blah, blah. I understand that it's serious, but I'm just like, well, God has not given me the spirit of fear. He gave me the spirit to not fear. God did not give me the spirit to fear. He gave me the spirit of love. He gave me the spirit of courage. He gave me the spirit of self-discipline and a sound mind. God has given me peace, okay? So when I'm just seeing all these things, I'm just like, why are y'all acting like this? Why are you guys reacting like this? Yes, wash your hands. Yes, take the precautions, but calm down. When I just observe all of this, I'm just like, what is the meaning of it? What I'm taking out of this whole thing, because we don't know how long it's going to last. Some people are saying it could end next month. Some people are saying when it becomes summer, you know, the virus doesn't like the heat, so it's going to disappear. Some people are saying um, this could last nine to 12 months. Well, the president, yes, yeah, president, that's what he said. Um, yeah, which may be the case, but now that we're forced to stay in our houses, what are we doing? I know a lot of folks who depend very much on social interactions. They have to be out every weekend. They have to be amongst people every day. They have to be able to just, you know, leave and be out there, touching on people, all of that stuff. I'm not that way. I'm an introvert, so I can be in my house and I'll be fine. I like to go out, I like to interact with people. Yeah, I'm an extrovert when I wanna be, but I'm mostly an introvert. I like to stay in my house, so I'm fine with it. But I'm just thinking about those people who need people to maintain their mental health, to maintain their sanity. And I don't, and my heart feels for them because it just so shows how detached we have become from ourselves. It just shows that we are so dependent on things and people to be able to, you know, stand strong. And this moment is really a moment for us to be able to reground ourselves, a moment to be able to really love ourselves, a moment to really be able to know who we are again. Because I guarantee you, the last time you knew who you really were was probably when you were a child. Probably when you were a child. Because we have social media, because we have, because we're older, we have jobs, we have school, we have things to stress about. You avoid your issues and things like that. Um, and it's sad. It's really sad. And I believe that um, although God is not a God who wants his children to be in pain, he's not a God who wants to see his children suffer, some things we do have to witness and we do have to go through just to get back to ourselves, just to get back to him. Me personally, I feel like this is a message from him. Like I said this once before, and then after I said it, I started seeing all these people saying, hey, God wants you to spend time with him. This is time allotted for you to spend time with him. And I'm like, okay, we are all on one accord. That is a great thing. So I'm confirming, this is a moment to get back to God. This is a moment to spend time with him. And I know for me personally, it's been hard because I've had all these excuses about, hey, I gotta work. Hey, I gotta go here. Hey, I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. Hey, God, how you doing? Oh, but I'm tired, so I'm going to go take a nap right now. He's like, no. <laughs> no. 
No. So this is just really me saying like, this is a time to really face those issues that we have not been able to face, that we've just been avoiding because we're so distracted with our everyday lives. And it's so bad. <laughs> we're always so used to being on a run that we take advantage of the smallest things. But I'm gonna leave y'all with this. This, this, this. Stop taking fear, start choosing courage, then watch God work. Stop taking fear, start choosing faith, and watch God work. Hope y'all took something from this video. I know I'm about to go watch it back to remind myself that I need to get to work and stop making excuses. Take advantage of the moment, guys, and stop making excuses. Take advantage of this moment. What a time to be alive.